Expect more. This is Channel 6 News at 10. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Curran. And I'm Leslie Draffin. Members of a combat veteran biker group are disappointed tonight after they say a Harker Heights restaurant refused to serve them. And it was all because of what they were wearing. Channel 6 News reporter Imani Payne is here to explain. Imani. Doug and Leslie, it's a situation that, that's got a lot of people talking online. So what happened? Why was the group turned away? What are managers at this restaurant saying about it? And what do people need to know moving forward? Well, we talked to both sides about this controversial situation, and here's what they say happened. What was supposed to be a peaceful lunch between friends quickly turned into a sticky situation outside of Richard Rawlings garage over the weekend. Members of the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association say they went to the restaurant to eat after participating in a funeral service. They were wearing this combat vet vest when a manager at the garage turned them away, saying if they didn't take the vest off, they wouldn't be served. We walked in, the manager said that we weren't authorized to wear our vests in, the, in there, so we decided to leave. The biker group kept the vest on and left, but news of their experience surfaced on social media and spread like wildfire, quickly going viral. The feedback on all sides of the discussion has been everything from whiny veterans expecting special treatment to um, people speaking out saying that they denied service to veterans to people saying that just all, all ranges of the gamut. So why didn't the bikers just take the vest off? Well, they say it's much more than just a piece of clothing. The, the vest has meaning to us. It's a matter of pride of who we are, what we are, where we've been, what we represent. We reached out to the restaurant about the incident and they say, we have a dress code posted at the restaurant that requires that groups do not wear their MC colors in the restaurant. This is simply a safety and security decision. The bikers say they aren't asking for special treatment and do realize events like the Twin Peaks biker gang shootout may have eating establishments tightening biker policy. But they say their organization does a lot of good and gives back to the community and that the entire biker community shouldn't be judged based off of a few bad apples. To simply say that everybody that's on a motorcycle is an outlaw or everybody that's on a motorcycle is going to get into a fight, it's something that we should be able to get past. Staff at the restaurant also say they support men and women in uniform, and this is a policy that has been around since they opened last year. But some bikers say they've worn their vest there before with no issue. When asked if the organization will be eating at the garage in the future, they tell me probably not. Doug and Leslie. All right, thank you, Imani. 